Okay, so, bro Tato, thank you for coming to my rhyme class. You, uh, you've all passed. <laughs> so, bro Tato has just been brought onto Game Pass for Xbox. Maybe PC as well. I'm playing on Xbox, so I know it's definitely for Xbox. And all I have to say is, if you've never played this game and you don't know what the hell it is, you need to play it. It is fun as hell. There's not much to really see or explain or anything. We're just going to get into it and you're going to see. Look at all these different potato characters. Look at them all. There's just there's so many and I there's so many I haven't unlocked and it's just, it's a great time. It's a great time. What we're going to go with is the multitasking potato, okay? With this potato, as you see, 20% damage, and you can equip up to 12 weapons at a time. However, for every weapon that you have, you lose 5% damage. That's what we're going to go with. See all these weapons, all this weaponry at our, at our disposal? Potatoes are deadly. We all know this. We're going to pick random. We've got the taser. You know what? Let's just... Yep, we're going with the taser. Let's get it. And here we go. This is it. He's just a little potato guy. Just trying his best to survive in a potato world. Just like that, we, we survived the first wave. Now, before we really get into the nuts and bolts of this, let's take a second to breathe, okay? Let's direct our attention to the screen. So, after every wave, you get four items that you can choose from, that you can buy. Some are weapons like the Jousting Lance or the Wrench. Others are items like a baby elephant, which will give you 25... 25... <laughs> Like a baby elephant, which will give you 25% chance to deal one damage to a random enemy when you pick up a material. You can also get stuff like a gummy berserker, which will give you an extra 5% attack speed and an extra 15 range, but you'll lose negative one armor. If you don't like any of your items, you can re-roll. The re-roll gets more expensive as waves or levels go on. Over here, you have your stats, your primary stats and your secondary stats. I don't actually know what secondary stats do because I've only been looking at the primary stats. The whole time that I've been playing, which has been a couple of hours. And that is essentially the item screen, boring stuff out of the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the weaponry. So now my little potato guy has all of these weapons at his disposal. I think the wrench will make a turret spawn. So there's my little turret as well. And see, so I just leveled up. And the way you level up is by killing the little alien guys, the little monster guys, and picking up the green items that they drop. Also, when you level up, you get to choose an upgrade. And what we're going to go with is damage because our damage is going to start taking a hit with every weapon that we pick up another fun little feature is you can buy another taser okay so there i have two tasers now what you can also do is combine these tasers so it makes a taser two look this is all pretty standard stuff okay this is like vampire survivors very heavy vibes the thing is with this game as well you don't have to aim he just automatically shoots when i first started playing this you should have seen me trying to figure out how the hell to shoot my weapon or punch my fist or whatever the hell i was doing i was like how am i doing this it was just doing it automatically now this might be one of those games where it doesn't look extraordinary to watch but if you've ever played a game Game like this you know just how fun it is and look if you've got game pass you have no real reason not to be playing this i'm gonna be absolutely honest with you now we're a couple more waves down the line and what i really like about games like this at least when i first start playing them is you get so many characters and so many different weapon combos and so many different ways to play that it's really fun to experiment with everything before you really dive deep and try and figure out what the hell is going to get you to win in the game. And I feel like Brotato does a really good way of quickly getting you to try new things, to experience new characters and all of that sort of stuff. It is a very, very good way to lose hours of your time without really realizing it. You can just chuck on a TV show, you can chuck on some music, and you'll be playing for what feels like just a couple of minutes, and all of a sudden it's time for bed and you've been up way too long. Okay, so we're on wave 10. And waves are now taking a minute instead of 30 seconds. So progressively they get longer and longer, and it's the classic progression thing. Enemies get tougher... 
and you can sit there and you can think you've got a good build and it's doing quite well and then all of a sudden you're just going to get absolutely checked with the amount of enemies on screen and very quickly it can just turn to shit. Again, that's the beauty of these games. It's not like you can just sit there and think, yes, this is it, now I'm all good. No, you've got to constantly be thinking about what you're going to upgrade, about what's going to be the best, about how you're going to keep surviving and yada, yada, yada. That of course changes with every character because every character has their own little perks and their own little traits. But essentially, now you've seen the entire game. This is it. This is the entire game. And the entire game is nothing but fun. Like, this is fun as hell. Okay, so here's a really cool unique item adrenaline i also love the little artwork for some of the items i mean just look at that that is hilarious five percent dodge plus a 50 percent chance to heal five hp when dodging an attack of course i'm gonna take that why wouldn't i take that now my little potato or brotato as i suppose they like to be called is kind of clustered at the moment but you can see that he has changed drastically from when we first started on wave one and that's because Every item you pick up changes the appearance of the Brotato. Now, I don't exactly know what I've picked up to make all of these changes, but you can see he's kind of got everything. He's got a white flag glowing, going on. His eyes have changed to red, or were they always red? Nah, they've changed, surely. Oh, I'm getting pumped. This could be the end. This could be the end. He's 1 HP in a dream, 2 HP in a dream even. See, just like that. Just like that. Oh, my God, he's dodging. He's, uh, he's on a roll. Look at him go. He survives! He survives! Here we go. So I haven't been able to get this one yet. The mini gun. The mini gun. Of course we're going to take a mini gun. Check it out. Here we go. So you can see right here where I'm kind of dancing around. I'll have to zoom in on it. There's a garden there. And what that garden does is it spawns a fruit every couple of seconds. A fruit is the health item that you need to pick up to stay alive, yada, 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 yada. And it'll just keep spawning fruits the entire wave for you. So if you get into trouble, you can just make your way to the garden. And it will provide all of your healthy needs, you know? You also have these trees that spawn. The trees will also drop fruit when you explode them. But they also have a chance of dropping you a little present. A little gift, like it's Christmas. And that gift can be a new item for you to use. where you, Whether you take it or you recycle it for... Uh, resource as they call it the little green stuff you can get a jet pack speed dodge dude i don't have enough money for it no no okay hold on the wrench has to go the wrench has to go and i need to get the jet pack it's just the way it is i lose hp i lose armor but really i gain a jet pack I really hope he's got a jetpack on now. He does. You can't see it really, but he sure as hell has a jetpack on. I'm not sure if this was always been on Xbox or if this has just launched and Game Pass picked it up with the launch, but oh my God, have I been missing out. I love Vampire Survivors. I don't know many people who don't like Vampire Survivors, right? This is just like Vampire Survivors. If you've played Vampire Survivors a lot and you don't want to see it again, Brotato's the perfect jump in. I don't think it's as fleshed out or as good. Good is subjective. I don't think it's as good as Vampire Survivors, but it's still an absolute banger of a game. This game is great. I died. I died. I died. So... Let's check out another character. We'll have a look at the Lich. So the Lich is obviously going to be a vampire, a life stealer, something that tries to retain as much HP as possible. You can see 10 HP regen, 10% life steal, 100% chance to deal 10 damage to a random enemy every time you heal. But the trade-off is that my damage modifications are reduced by 50%. We're going to try out the Lich. I tell you what, let's go with the Ghost Scepter. Why not? Why not? This is what it's all about, experimenting. Now, this also brings me to weapon types. So, these are ethereal weapons. So, as you see, I have two ethereal weapons. So, my dodge is increased by six. However, my armor is, dec is, is declined. declined. My armor is now in negatives. That's okay. As long as we can get an armor upgrade. Down the line, we're going to be okay. I'm going to take Lemonade as well. We're going to lean straight into the HP. Why not? Now, you can also take Risky items. So, here's a Risky item for you. Weird Ghost. Three max HP, but you start the next wave with only one health. 
I'm gonna take it because the Lich is an absolute beast at getting its health back. But trusting my luck, it's probably gonna end badly. You see that? I started with 1 HP and look, my health is already in the double digits. Am I a tactician? Look, it's debatable. It's debatable. Is it just common sense? I don't know about all that. Yes, yeah, so locking it will keep it locked for you. How good is that? Dude, this game is great. This is one of those games where everything about it is fun. There doesn't seem to be any stupid mechanics in it. I may be wrong, I may find them later, but for right now in the few hours I've played, this has not been a shit experience. Here we go, I'm fully decked out now with the old ethereal weaponry. Talk about unstoppable, mate. I'm an absolute force to be reckoned with. Now there are also items like this, handcuffs, which will give you melee damage and range damage and elemental damage. However, it will cap a stat and your X and your max HP will be capped at 30 if you take this item. I'm not going to do that. I don't know what harvesting is. This is this is one of the things in the game where I'm not sure what it does. Here's an item, blood donation. 40 plus for harvesting, which is obviously huge, right? Except you take one damage per second. This is probably perfect for the Lich. So I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. And now I'm probably going to die. But at least I took it. At least I'm taking a chance. Yeah, so I'm taking damage, but look, the Lich is just unstoppable. I'm taking one damage every second. But it's just coming, I'm getting it back straight away. See, big brain moves here. There's only big brain moves. Common sense, again, I don't know anything about that. If you look here, one max HP for every 18 enemies you kill, stats gain seven. So this weapon's giving me seven max HP. This acts 1% damage for every 16 enemies you kill during a wave. 30 three games so six from this one as well which means 39 which means every negative attribute that we have towards damage has been counteracted by this now this weapon this scepter has only given me one so what i'm going to do is recycle it out and i'm going to pick up another ghost axe See, a part of me wants to take this so badly, but I know i'll get rolled if i do it peacock item 25 percent xp gain 100% XP gain during the next wave, but you take an extra 50% damage. I want to take this so badly. Someone talk me out of it. Someone right now talk me out of it. No one was here to talk me out of it. Look, if it goes bad, it goes bad. It is what it is. Oh my god, it's gone. It's gone north straight away. It's gone sideways almost instantly, let me tell ya. But it doesn't matter. Look at that. We've only got to survive another 30 seconds. This is doable. This is actually doable. Has he taken a big brain play? Has he done has he done the right thing for the first time in his life? Maybe. Maybe he has. <laughs> yeah, dude, what's the only right thing you've done in your life? Played Brotato? Definitely. He's got eight seconds. He's in the final stretch. Five seconds left. Oh my god, he's taken an absolute beating there. It's a bloodbath. He survives. He survived. And just like that, we're looking good now. Like, we're looking good. We've got an XP gain. Look at my lich, man. You can't really see him, but he's got the peacock feathers going on, and it's absolutely insane. That's iconic, man. See? That's that's the kind of stuff Brotato is willing. That's how brave Brotato gets. A peacock lich. All right? Where else are you going to get that kind of stuff? Nowhere. So the game definitely gets a little bit dicier, especially when it becomes a little bit of a bullet hell and there's bullets flying everywhere. Because those, I don't really pay attention to the bullets. I'm absolutely copping here. Let me, let me just concentrate. <sighs> Oh, this could be it. This could be it. This could be it. He's, he survived. He survived. That wasn't it. That was that was easy. I don't know what you guys. Uh, I don't know what everyone was getting up in arms about. That was that was. We were never in any danger at all. Okay, grinds magical leaf. Three max HP at the end of a wave. 
one HP regen at the end of a wave, one life steal at the end of a wave. Of course we're going to take that. Why wouldn't you take that? We move. Yeah, look, these waves are definitely getting dicier. They're definitely getting a little bit more scary. My brotato is, you know, he's feeling the pressure. Okay, not gonna, not gonna beat around the bush about it. But we survive. But we survive. Also, I think this is the furthest that I have gotten so far in my hours of playing. I might be wrong with that. Also, some of the enemies are glowing red now, and I'm not too sure what that's all about. Does that just mean they're like, they're angrier, or is does that mean, like, what does that mean? What the red enemies mean? I'm getting kind of swarmed here. I'm getting kind of swarmed, but it doesn't matter. No, it's funny, this wave has been exceptionally easy to survive compared to some of the other waves. Jesus. We've survived this one like nobody's business, honestly. Up to wave 18, we're slowly getting towards 20. Hey, if it happens, I'll be cheering, man. If it doesn't, you know what? You live and you learn. It wasn't meant to be. We will survive. We will continue to wake up tomorrow and the world will go on. Another Brotato will be born. If you can't tell, I don't really know what I'm saying right now. I'm just concentrating on staying alive, like some sort of CPR. Shout out if you got that joke. I'm so sorry. Why are you still watching this? My god, it's just a screen full of shit, isn't it? It's just a screen full of shit. Okay, if we get through this wave, we hit the big 20, the big 2-0. I'd be pretty excited about that, to be honest. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, whether we get there or not is another story. This wave is kind of crazy. They are everywhere. They are everywhere, and I feel, I feel like this next cycle, I'm going to get absolutely stepped on. Oh, man. Got to survive. Got to survive. Got to survive. We, we should be right. We should be right. We are all good. Level 20. Wave 20. How good is that, man? Wow. 2% attack speed for every 1% dodge you have. So that'll put me up to... That'll give me an extra 110%. Holy shit. I'm gonna take it, right? 110 is crap. Range is nothing when they're all around you. I'm taking this. Oh, an endless button has shown up there. Does that mean wave 20 is the last wave? Have we made it to the end? This might be the end. 90 seconds. We can do this. Is that a boss? Die. Die, 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 die. Here we go. Yeah, is that a boss or is this like an elite? This might be a boss. Hey, we're kind of rinsing him. Got him down a quarter. I don't know if that's a boss boss or an elite. And I'm getting kind of smashed on right now. I don't think I'm going to get to kill it in time. Come on, little brotato. Put all your might into it. 20 seconds. Come on, 9 seconds. We can do it. Come on, get him. I should have just stuck on him the entire wave. Come on, you're nearly there. You're nearly there. You're nearly there. You're nearly there. Did you do it? I did him. Right. Did, yes? Did I kill it? Did, so does... We have witnessed greatness. Greatness has been achieved. Look, it's debatable whether I am the best or not. Okay, that is debatable. Look, so for winning that run and everything, I get myself a new item by the looks of it. I unlocked a couple of new characters, Gladiator and a Doctor. I also got a new difficulty mode. I oh, that was great. That was good. That's my first that was my first win in Brotato. Wow. That's 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 it. That's Brotato. You've just seen it. It's on Game Pass. If you've got Game Pass and you've got a couple of hours to kill, I'm telling you, get Brotato. You can't go wrong. It's just good. It's good fun. It's just mindless good video gamey fun. And that that's that. Yeah. Thank you for watching.